Hi everyone, Kyle from CMAC here. And in today's tutorial, I kind of wanted to change things up and talk about an app that I really don't have any experience with. And I thought it might be fun if you come along on this journey with me and we figure out how to record, edit, and publish a podcast through the Anchor app. Anchor is an app and platform that allows you to record, edit, and upload your podcasts to Anchor servers, and they will push it out to be played on practically any podcast platform that you like to listen to, whether that be the podcast app that comes with Apple devices or Google devices, Spotify, Overcast, Pocket Cast, wherever you want to listen to audio podcasts, this should be your one-stop shop to set it all up. The reason for this is podcasts are decentralized. It's not quite like YouTube where you go to youtube.com and search for the video you want. There isn't necessarily one podcast website. Instead, it's all decentralized and wrapped around a system called RSS. But the point of Anchor is to kind of simplify that and act like the YouTube for podcasts. So let's check it out. Let's see if we can set up a podcast from scratch and get it online. The Anchor app works on both iOS, iPadOS, and Android devices. Plus they have a web interface if you're recording and editing on a computer. But I kind of want to keep it simple. I want to do it all from my mobile device. I'm going to use my iPad today, but theoretically this should be very, very similar if you're doing it on a phone as well. First, I need to download the app. I have the little cloud icon because I have already downloaded the app, but I started to download it and thought, you know what? Let's take people along for this ride. So I'm in the app store. I pulled up the page for the app. It's got all the information about it right here. And I'm just going to hit the cloud icon to download it. Now, if you hadn't already downloaded it, it would say Git app and you would download. All right, the app just finished downloading. Let's open it up. I think right at the beginning, it's going to want to set up an account. Actually, it's asking if I can use Bluetooth. So I'm going to hit OK. So Anchor allows me to log in up in the top right. Uh, sign up with my Facebook account or sign up with just my email address. I'm gonna sign up with my email address just to kind of set it up from scratch. All right, type in my name, my email. I'm gonna make a simple password for the account. After creating an account, I have to verify my account so I can move forward. So I'm gonna check my email, tap on the link in my email, and then return to the Anchor app. Later that same evening, it asks, what brings you to Anchor? I want to make a new podcast, tell me more about podcasting, or switch my existing podcast to Anchor. Now, I kind of know what the basics of podcasting are, and if you need to know the basics of podcasting, check out our other tutorials about an introduction to podcasting and podcasting from home. I kind of know what a podcast is, and I don't have an existing podcast. I want to move into Anchor, so I'm going to select, I want to make a new podcast. All right, notifications, push notifications. Uh, sure. I don't like a lot of push notifications, but for the sake of today and this tutorial, let's uh, let's turn on some notifications. All right. So it looks like there's a number of things I can do right inside of this app. I can record by myself. I can record with friends. I believe if I wanted to record remotely with other people, they will also need to have the Anchor app on their mobile device as well. And then it essentially creates a phone call and records that phone call with all people in the call. Library, okay, so it's gonna hang on to the audio for me. So probably if I record something like an intro and I want it to be the same every time, I can reuse that same audio for every episode. Voice messages, listeners can send in questions, submissions for your next episode. That's really cool. So if you have an episode and it's a Q&A style episode and you want people to be able to drop a line and ask questions, looks like there's a system for people to record voice messages, send them to you so that you can incorporate them into your next episode. It's got interludes. So I think these are little pieces of sound, little musical bits or sound effects that can take us from one segment to another in the podcast. And then there are actual dedicated sounds um, I think these are sound effects and little music stingers to take us from section to section as well. And full on songs from Spotify. Uh, so Spotify owns Anchor. They are kind of the back end of Anchor and it looks like it'll allow us to pull songs from Spotify that are approved for use to use in these Anchor podcasts. Very cool. All right, well, I kind of have an outline for a brand new podcast. Let's do a little recording. So I, I have some notes as to what my podcast is going to be. Definitely check out our tutorial on pre-production so you can see what you need to put together before you even press record on your podcast. Very simple, tap here to start recording. 
All right, so let me get my notes here. And I believe I can record these segment by segment. So I'm gonna simply start with an introduction, do it as many times as I need to, to kind of get it right. So Anchor's telling me it's okay to just use the microphone built right into my iPad. And honestly, the microphone built into an iPad, iPhone, or Android phone is gonna be great as long as you're in a quiet environment. I would probably also move into an even quieter environment with less reflections. My office uh, still has four walls and sound kind of bounces around a little bit. If I could record inside of my car, cars are great because they're insulated and they're trying to keep outside sounds out. Or a closet filled with clothes, that works really great too. If you can get inside your closet with your mobile device, to record your audio podcast, that will sound great. No reflections and not a lot of sound coming in from the outside. So I'll enable my microphone. All right, here we go. Welcome to Movies with Kyle, a show where Kyle talks about the movies that he's checked out and gives his recommendation to check it out or not. That's okay, let me, let me try it again. Welcome to Movies with Kyle, a show where I check out movies and give you a recommendation as to whether you should check them out yourself. Great, I think that's a nice little intro for the podcast. All right, so it looks like I can trim it right here. Um, but in this case, let's, let's come back to that because I, I do need to trim. I did a couple takes and I just wanna use the one that I, I really like, that last one there, but I believe if I hit the X, I can go back and record the middle section. And this first podcast is just going to be a trailer for the show. It's just, what is the show about? And I'm not going to really dive into a movie in this episode. I just want to set it up and let people know what this podcast is going to be about. And it looks like Anchor's got a walkthrough guide here. So it's going to walk me through making my first episode, setting up my entirety of my podcast, kind of the umbrella that all of these episodes are going to live under, help me distribute my podcast so people can listen to it in their favorite podcast app. It even has options for monetization if I gain an audience big enough so that I can start doing ad reads in my podcast and make some money. Looks like it's going to help me out there. While it's very cool to be able to create ads and monetize your podcast, keep in mind CMAQ does not allow advertising on the channel, so you won't be able to submit a version to playback on the CMAQ channel with advertising in it. So let's record the next section of my podcast. Uh, normally, this is where I would dive into a movie review, but in this case, I'm just going to explain what the show is. In each episode, I'll watch a movie, and that movie could either be something in the theater, brand new release, or it might be something that's been out for a while. At the end, I'll take a... At the end, I will... At the end, I'll give a recommendation as to whether or not you should check out this movie for yourself or you should skip it. Great. Got my little middle section explaining what the show is. So I'm going to hit save. Uh, this segment is going to be called the, uh, what is this show? Uh, I'm not yet ready to publish. I still have another section to record. All right, so I have... Uh, on the right side there, I have kind of different sections, and it looks like I can, I can reorganize where these go by tapping Arrange, and I can sort the intro goes first, and then the What Is This Show segment goes next, and I can hit Save, and now this is in the right order. Great. Okay, so now let me record my outro. This has been Movies with Kyle. I hope you enjoyed this little introduction to the show, and I look forward to having you join me for future movie reviews. If you enjoy this show, please give it a subscribe and leave a review on your favorite podcasting app. I'll be putting out episodes whenever I get around to watching some movies and reviewing them. See you next time. Boom, nailed it in one take. I won't have to trim too much of that. But now let's take a look at trimming these segments. So I need to kind of trim out some of the dead air at the beginning. I hit the record button and then I wait a moment and then I talk. So let, if I hit this trim button, yeah, here is my little outro. So it looks like I can just drag this start tag and this end tag right to where I want. And I can see the audio waveforms, the waves that go up and down when I'm talking. So I'm gonna hit, grab this start one and slide it over to right before I start talking. I'm going to grab this end tag and pull it right where I end talking. And I'm going to hit save and trim. I could listen to it if I want, but I'm pretty confident 
That's why I start talking and that's why I end talking. Now, in my introduction and in my what is this show segment, I kind of stuttered in the middle. I need to cut some stuff out of the middle of these pieces. Let's take a look at what it takes to edit the middle of a clip. But first, let's save this segment. This segment is the outro and add to the recording. Great, it's stuck at the end there. So I didn't do any editing on the intro or the what is this show segment of the show. So let's go back and trim the start and end points and the middle of this clip if I need to. So let's give this a listen. All right, here we go. Welcome to Movies with Kyle, a show where Kyle talks about the movies that he's checked out and gives his recommendation to check it out or not. Mm, I kind of talked in third person. Don't really like that part. Welcome to Movies with Kyle, a show where I check out movies and give you a recommendation as to whether you should check them out yourself. Great, I think that's a nice little intro. Awesome, so I just need that section right in the middle there. So I'm gonna grab that start slider, pull that over, grab the end, pull that over, and hit save and trim. That's just the part that I need. And now this what is this show segment. Uh, let's pull this in and let's start with the start and end points. In each episode, I'll watch a movie, and that movie could either be something in the theater, brand new release, or it might be something that's been out for a while. At the end, I'll take a... So I don't want that end, section. I will... At the end, I'll give a recommendation as to whether or not you should check out this movie for yourself, or you should skip it. All right. So let's trim to the very beginning. I, this little, This little bit right here... That's me taking a breath. I'm gonna cut right after the breath. Great. Um, so I don't want this middle section, but I can't, I can only do a start and end point. So I'm gonna start where I wanna start. I'm gonna end where I wanna end. And then I'm gonna try to figure out where I can go into edit audio and cut out that middle section I don't want. So let's do save and trim just with my start and end points. But there's another button in this menu here that says edit audio. Let's see if we can cut something out the middle here. Okay, great. I can split pieces right here. So I have my very beginning. That's great. And then I kind of finish this first section that I like. Might be something that's been out for a while. Let me kind of get it right in the middle of that breath. And it says I can pinch to zoom in. So if I pinch outward, I can get right in the middle, right before I breathe. and I'm going to split right here. Great. And then I'm going to come over here. because I don't want those two sections. I want this section right here. So I'm gonna split again. So now if I hit save, okay. So that got changed in the library. It didn't, I didn't see it change in the show, but if I go to the library where all my sounds are, it's here. So in fact, let me uh, take these bits out of this show. So I'm gonna delete from this episode. So I should have trimmed them before I put them in the show order. That's okay, that's okay. Actually, I think the outro is fine, let's keep that. But I need my new short intro. Let me grab this and drag it into the show. So I now have four What Is This Show segments. I have the original What Is This Show, and then I have, what is the show? One of three, two of three, three of three. And it looks like these are the different sections I broke up. So if I tap on the three dots for this one and I go trim start and end points. Yeah, this is just that very first section. So again, let me kind of just trim off that very beginning and hit save and trim. And it's got to process it, it looks like. That's fine. And let me throw this into the timeline for this episode. And I think this uh, two of three is the part I don't want. Let's give it a play. At the end, I'll take a... Yeah, so that's the part where I kind of stuttered. I don't want that. And I think three of three is why I do want it. Let's edit the start and end points of this. 
So it's a little weird. You kind of have to edit in the library and then you pull the sections over that you want. All right, let me grab that start point, get it started right before I start talking, grab that end point. Pull that, let's take a listen really quick. At the end, I'll give a recommendation as to whether or not you should check out this movie for yourself or you should skip it. Great. All right, save and trim. And now I have another, I have a new clip of what is this show three of three because I kind of made a change to it. So it keeps, it's non-destructive editing and it just kind of keeps everything in the library. Very interesting. All right, and now I kind of got to sort the outro around. I need to grab this and pull it down after. So I have my introduction, what is this show part one, what is this show part three, and the outro. So if you do kind of stop and start and stutter quite a bit, it's gonna be kind of tricky to edit because you have to keep breaking it up and pulling those clips from the library. I, I would kind of assume that if you get stuck on something, you may want to just stop the recording and start another recording. That's not super granular in the control of the editing in this app, but it does get the job done. That's, that's kind of nice. So I'm gonna save on the rearrangement. Let's take a listen at what this Sounds like I'm going to hit the preview button. Welcome to Movies with Kyle, a show where I check out movies and give you a recommendation as to whether you should check them out yourself. In each episode, I'll watch a movie, and that movie could either be something in the theater, brand new release, or it might be something that's been out for a while. At the end, I'll give a recommendation as to whether or not you should check out this movie for yourself or you should skip it. This has been Movies with Kyle. I hope you enjoyed this little introduction to the show, and I look forward to having you join me for future movie reviews. If you enjoy this show, please give it a subscribe and leave a review on your favorite podcasting app. I'll be putting out episodes whenever I get around to watching some movies and reviewing them. See you next time. Great. There's a little 35-second podcast trailer. All right, so I have this episode pretty much ready to go, but I think I want to add some sound effects and music. So let's take a look at that. Let's jump down to sounds. Ooh, I like ta-da. Let's put ta-da at the end of the show. Maybe some music for the beginning. Let's check out interludes. Got little short songs here. If you want to pull songs from Spotify, you'll have to connect a Spotify premium account to Anchor. So I'm going to stick with interludes. Sunset at Sandy Isle. That's a little too calm, maybe. Let's check out the cheerful section. Uh, the Zeppelin. Yeah, let's throw that at the beginning of the show. All right, and I want to bring this up to the beginning and save. All right, so I've got a song at the beginning, my introduction, my what is this show segment, and I had to cut something out of the middle, so it's in two parts, and then the outro, and then a little sound effect after that. I think we're looking good there. Um, so let's hit publish, I guess. All right, I got to give this episode a title. Now, this is kind of the trailer to Movies with Kyle. So let's call this Movies with Kyle podcast trailer. I don't need to put like episode one or two because it looks like there's a spot for the episode number there, which would make it kind of redundant. Uh, now I've got a space for a description. Welcome to Movies with Kyle, a podcast where Kyle watches movies and tells you whether you should check it out or not. All right. So uh, season one, getting started. Episode, uh, I wonder if it'll let me do episode zero since this is just a trailer. And episode type, is it a full episode? No, it's a trailer episode or, or bonus episode. Great. All right, and I can publish now, or I can schedule a publish date. Let's see, maybe I'll have this go live tomorrow morning. Great. Ooh, I can add tags. So just like with YouTube, I can put some tags on this podcast. It kind of makes it a little bit more searchable when someone's looking for a podcast. Uh, so maybe we'll put movie reviews and, and comedy. Hopefully this is a funny podcast and cinema. It's not going to be very high class. Uh, maybe film 
And that, that'll do. I can do one more, but let's stick with four. That's fine. That's all I can think of right now. Okay, podcast name. Uh, movies with Kyle. And I can create my own URL? Great. Uh, we'll call this Movies with Kyle. Great. It's available. All right, so I'm going to use this name and this URL. Podcast description. Okay. Learn about movies new and old from Kyle and whether or not they're worth your time. Got a little description. Ooh, and cover art. So you can upload a square image and add it to your show. And you can, I believe you can make an image for each individual episode, or you can just have a general image for your entire show. So upload an image and I have one. Here we are. Boom, there's my show. So you wanna make sure it's a square, pretty much all podcasts have a square image format. Ooh, and I can pick category for my show. Let's see, is there something about movies, video games, music, religion, science, society, sports, TV and film. Uh, here we go, film reviews. There we go, That this is a film review podcast. That's what it's gonna be. And the language is English, great. So I set up my first episode, it let me set up my show around that episode, and now it's about to go out. Uh, we're finishing your podcast setup. This will make your podcast available on major podcast platforms, including Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Fantastic. I even see the Google Podcasts and the Overcast app. That's great. Oh, once you publish, your first episode will distribute your podcast to all major listening platforms, including Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Approval can take a few days, depending on the platform, but we'll let you know as soon as it becomes available in each place. So like I said, podcasts don't have a central location, so it takes a little bit of time to get them out to those locations. I believe this is only going to take some time for the very first episode, and then after it's been approved, rolling out with future episodes should be quite a bit quicker. Okay, but that's it. I just recorded, edited, and published my very first podcast right here from my mobile device with the Anchor app. It was pretty easy to do. The interface was a little bit different. Because I have a video editing background, some of these things felt a bit different than video editing, but I think I got a hang of it. If you like this tutorial and want to learn more about this app, we can experiment with the Record with Friends feature and see what it's like to record a remote interview with the Anchor app. And if you want to learn more about editing podcasts in other applications, because it looks like in the library section we can import sounds from other apps, uh, we can take a look at what it's like to record and edit in another app and then bring it into Anchor for publishing. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you had fun kind of exploring Anchor with me. Give us a shout out on social media what you want to see future tutorials about and whether or not you like this format of kind of exploring an app for the first time. I'm Kyle and that's it for me. I'll see you next time. Peace.